were injured in the dash accident. Fatal, ghastly. It is G H A S T L Y. G H A S T L Y. Ghastly. Dastardly. All right, all the commuters were injured in the dash accident. 41. All the commuters were injured in the dash accident. Fatal, ghastly, dastardly, heinous. All these words all together are, are synonymous with dangerous. But in as much as there is no involvement of death, so we couldn't have said the accident was fatal. Because, because before you could have said an accident is fatal, there is a fatal accident, then it should claim life. So, but as much as it has not claimed life, so you say the accident is ghastly. So they were injured in the ghastly accident. So, but if the semantics has actually brought about the fact that, okay, yes, uh, it was quite painful that he died in the dash accident, of course, your answer will be fatal accident. Yes, we are moving into uh, other kind of sector web, uh, section where you have sounds. That is the phonetics. So, of course, we have about um, different types of uh, sounds, the vowel and the consonant sounds, and uh, where they are realized. So, we, we will be provided with such kind of questions whereby you are asked to pick an option that contains an indicated or a represented sound. So the for number 42 now, eyes, eyes. The S there is pronounced Z, is pronounced Z. Eyes, eyes. Soul, boys, cell, loose. So the answer is boys, boys. The S there is pronounced Z, boys. So it coincides with eyes. Show, show. Show, we're having the she sound. Che, chick, brochure, chief. So we have option C to be an answer. Brochure. Brochure has the same trans, uh, kind of sound representation as show. So option C, brochure. Facade, facade. F A C A D E is pronounced facade. Of course, call. State, match, zoo. So the answer is state. Because we are looking for C, facade, state. Yes, question 45. Ear, ear. That is a diphthong, ear. Air, hair, scarce, series, series. Series contains the same. Sound representation as ear. So option D, series, series, ear. So option D is the answer. 46, stipend, stipend. So it's pronounced stipend and not stipend. Stipend. So granite, granite, not granite, granite. Finance, please, palace. So the answer is finance. Stipend, finance, option B. Crawl, crawl, key, crawl. Six, six, exam, exhume, exist. Six, six, that is option A. It has a key sound, six. God, God, that is a long O. God, sun, sword, hour, low. So the answer is B. Sword, sword. And mind you, the W is silent. Sword. So it has the same pronunciation with S U R D. Sword. He brought out his sword. God. So option B, making an answer. Says, says. The pronunciation is says. The plural form is say, but the singular is says. So we are having a pronounced there. Pay, said, mat, 
vehicle vehicle so the answer is said says said option b 50 sachet sachet he bought a sachet of water sachet lay crash crash bucket market so the answer is lay option a sachet it coincides with lay 51 hunter hunter is pronounced hunter so of course you see letter j there but it's not pronounced as j here hunter it has spanish origin the military hunter july home goal gear so the answer is home hunter home the 52 It's just 60, this is 52. Okay. okay. Because there's no uh, This one will not need an explanation now. It's okay. just 8. Uh, this is uh, Okay. Right. We're having these questions now on synonyms. Having to choose the synonymous words with the underlined ones. Viola is quite laconic. Laconic here, uh, have austere, boisterous, taciturn, garrulous. Laconic means not to be reserved, not talking too much, which is taciturn. Taciturn is another word. Then 53, the gargantuan nature leaves me baffled. Gargantuan means monstrous, that is of a huge kind of size, monstrous. She's, go ahead. Mm. Okay, yes, 54. Like I said, still on um, nearest and meaning. That is. Okay. Okay. Yes, 53. The gargantuan nature leaves me baffled. Gargantuan. Of course, that is monstrous. Monstrous. That is of a kind of huge nature. That is large, uh, monstrous, leviathan, mammoth. All these are nearest in meaning. So, 54. Next. Okay. She's a voracious reader of crime novel. She's a voracious reader of crime novel. Voracious, avid, pusillanimous, avaricious. So, in this kind of case, a voracious reader that is always keen to read more. Copiously, that is avid. She is an avid reader of crime novels. Then 55. You should be frank. You should be frank, unhappy, candid, peculiar, crestfallen. The answer here is candid. That means to be sincere and candid. That is frank. 56. He is dipsomaniac. He is dipsomaniac, authoritarian. Alcoholic, teetotaler, disciplined. That is alcoholic. When someone is dip, dip, dipsomaniac, is the same alcoholic or bibulous. Why the opposite would be teetotaler? As one who does not crave for alcohol at all. Then 57. The task is esoteric. The task is esoteric. Crocsy, plenty, simple, ghastly. For esoteric, which means pretty difficult or to be had, that is crocsy. Option A, crocsy. The tax is crocsy or is esoteric. Yes, 58. I love a gate. I love a gate. Stamina, courage, fitness, speech. Gate is the way a person lifts their body. That is the courage. I mean, the way you walk with your stature. So, so oh, I love her gate. That is the carriage. Option B. 59. He has an aversion for that. He has an aversion. 
Punction, hatred, revision, choice. Aversion means uh, a kind of uh, pet hatred. So option B, hatred, is the answer. The opposite is punction, which means uh, a kind of uh, uh, kind of craving or love. So the to aversion now, the nearest meaning will be hatred. Then sixty. Color is an imp. Color is an imp. An imp is a little devil. A little devil. One in form of a delinquent. One who is still very young and uh, involving in some kind of uh, uh, heinous or questionable characters. Say, is an imp. That's little devil. So these are many more. You cannot but come across in your questions, maybe in the UTME, POSITME, the WAEC, NECO, and every other English exams. So I believe you'll be able to tackle most of those kind of questions emanating from this and some other ones till our next class. So I am once again... Thank you.